Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hi there, Cindy Jarvis here with Monarch Mom DIY, and I am so excited to be here presenting on our Magnolia Design Co. Facebook page. Today is an awesome connect and craft event, so I'm so excited that you are here joining us on our page to celebrate National Craft Month. So I'm hoping that you're going to enjoy today getting a little peek into what it's like to be a creator with Magnolia. And if that's something that you think you might be interested in, head on over to the Magnolia page or get with the creator that you're already purchasing these fabulous products from. So I have 30 minutes, so this is going to be fast and furious. What I am making today are some Easter themed items for this little tiered tray house that I have back here. You can see right now it's decorated for spring, uh, just general spring. And I'm going to use some of our Magnolia stencils as I've used um, previous seasons to update this for Easter. So I'm using, let me just show you real quick. These are our rolling pins um, for spring. You get all these stencils on the one stencil sheet. I'm also using uh, both of our spring minis. So let's see, this one I think was 2022. This one is this year's 2023. Hello everyone, thank you so much for the hearts and for being here. And then these are the stencils that come with our bunnies and eggs DIY kit. Okay, there's, there's two different bunnies and two different eggs, and then you also get the laser cut wood. Let's see, a couple other things I'm using. I'm using just some Easter-y scrapbook paper that I got at the store, and then I'm also using some Dollar Tree items. Um, other Magnolia items, I'm using one of our rolling pins. Let's see, what else? And here are the bunny and the egg from our DIY kit. You can get them also with little stands. And let's see, I'm using four of these wood cubes from Dollar Tree. I know you can get them other places too, but I've started seeing them again in my store. For my little book stack, let me just show you for this one, I used a wood crate from Dollar Tree upside down. And this is one of our spring minis. I did Oh Hello Spring for the words. But I could not find any more crates, so I had to scrounge around my craft room and see what I had. So this is one of the um, coaster sets that you can get at Hobby Lobby, and I stenciled them with our Magnolia logo and some words. But this little box they come in is what I'm using for my book stack for this because I couldn't find anything else. So it's about the same size, so I just made some lines on it and made this into my book stack. Thank you so much. Oh, good. Hey, I see some of my, some of my creators are on awesome. And some of my awesome customers. All right. So because I only have 30 minutes and I want to change this out before your eyes, um, I did some painting ahead of time. Let me just show you also a couple things that I used for the spring one. This is our mason, these are our mason jar cutouts. And I took two of them and kind of made a little jar that I can put some florals in. These are also our spring minis. This is really fun to do. And then I just covered up the hole at the top with some jute twine. All right, we got a rolling pin, we got the blocks in the middle, we got a book stack, we got a beaded garland, and then a couple other little things. So the first thing I wanna do is the cubes. So what I did with these is I just painted two sides with lavender. Those cubes there, they've been used like five or six different words on them using the different sides. So what I did is I cut two inch by two inch scrapbook paper. These two I've already Mod Podged on. And I'm just going to Mod Podge these because then we're going to stencil. Oh, I forgot. I'm also using our skinny font letters. Forgot about that. 
Those I used the poster sticker letters from Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm hoping if I pull this all the way close to me, you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to do a light layer of Mod Podge here. And you don't have to have this house. These could work just on their own, sitting out, decorating a small area. Um, you could do them on a regular tiered tray. I just like it. This is just something fun that I can kind of update. And then once I have them all made, they're all made, right? I have Christmas, I have fall. All right, so I'm just going to center this on my block. So I cut the paper a tiny bit smaller than the block so you can still see that pretty light purple. Now I'm doing today's set as kind of, you know, bunny and egg Easter, but I'm gonna do on the other side, probably at a later date on my page is do uh, the other side for what I consider the real reason for Easter. Resurrection Sunday. Crosses and flowers and the empty tomb and he is risen. So you can do this for any theme. Okay, these two are already dry. We'll let these two dry the Mod Podge. Let's move to our rolling pin. So you can get these. Um, I apologize. I don't know how many come in the pack, but they're unfinished wood. So I just painted mine yellow on the handles and pink in the middle. Sometimes I put a scrap of paper on them like I did on this one, but for today I decided I'm just going to stencil Happy Easter right onto our rolling pin. Hey everybody, welcome. Sometimes for these little ones I'll just especially when my table's full of other stuff and I don't have room for my tacky towel. I'm just going to line, let's see, this one just like barely fits. Okay, I can see that it's all on there. So I'm just gonna press my stencil down. And I think I was gonna do purple pansy for my words. Thanks so much. I'm glad you like the ideas. I'm excited to see all the different ideas from everybody today. I have a couple of the girls on my team. Actually, the next one, Yachty, and I believe Tracy is also presenting today. So, and lots of friends. We're all, that's one of the things I love about being a creator with Magnolia is we all work together and support each other it's not a competition. We're all trying to, you know, spread the mission of Magnolia to empower people to be able to create, even if you think you can't or don't know how. Okay, if you can spread butter on a piece of toast, you can stencil and make some pretty awesome stuff. All right. So there's my happy Easter and we'll let that dry and probably we'll just add a little ribbon to the handles of our rolling pin. All right, let's move to our bunny and our egg. So these are, like I said, unfinished. You can paint them and then the stencils fit perfectly on them. So I'm going to do my egg I painted yellow. I'm going to do this French rose pink. And then I think I was going to do this yellow on my bunny. So kind of flip-flopping, but different, different shades of those colors. I like to put my surface on my uh, backing sheet if it's smaller than the actual stencil. Let me just fuzz this on my pants. I think that'd be better. And sometimes with these two... It might be easier to put the stencil sticky side up on your surface and then line up your bunny or your egg on the stencil. Sometimes that is just a little easier, I've found, 
to get it to get it centered on there and it does not have to be perfect you are going to have an edge I, I really did not do that one very well though let me try one more time That's better. All right, so then we're gonna press that down really well. So we get all those cute little polka dots. All right, this is daffodil. We're just doing all sorts of bright, fun, cheery colors with this tiered tray set. Hope you can see okay what I'm doing. Hi. That's my mom just popped on. All right. So wherever the polka dots are on my stencil is what's going to stay pink. And then the rest of my bunny is going to take the chalk paste. Oh, so cute. Look at that. You can see I didn't get it quite centered right, but... Um, you can uh, fix it if you want. I'm going to leave it because I think it is just fine. Oops. Okay. And then once that's dry, you can set it in the little stand. So we'll let that dry. All right. Moving on to our egg. How are we doing on time? Oh, excellent. Okay. So the egg I painted yellow. And I'm gonna do pink chalk paste, the new French rose color. Now the egg stencils um, go right to the edge. So if you get this lined up, it's going to, it's gonna cover your entire egg surface. Okay, and I really wanna press down so I get all those cute little flowers and the zigzags. This is French Rose. And Ooh, I love this color. It's kind of almost this color that's on my sweater. All right. So Magnolia is a fabulous company. I You probably already know that if you've been on this page for very long. Um, some of the wonderful things about being a creator with Magnolia is that Lisa, who was on before me, and Crystal, our co-founders, didn't want to put a bunch of rules, look at that, for the creators. So really... You're in business for yourself, but not by yourself because there's lots of support and there's not a lot of uh, rules and regulations of where you can sell and how you can sell and all of that stuff. So love, love, love. I've been with Magnolia since October of 2021. Is that right? Yes, almost a year and a half and I absolutely love it. All right, here's my book stack that I made out of our little coaster holder, but use the crates from Dollar Tree. They're awesome for this. I'm going to use this bunny trail hop this way. I thought that was so cute. So I'm going to have to move the stencil a little bit because I'll do bunny and then I'll move it down a little bit and do trail and then I'll move it down so that it's in, in the spaces of the, of the books the quote unquote faux books. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just fuzzing my stencil on my pants. All right, so let's get the word bunny kind of in the middle of that top book. And I think I'm gonna use the same French rose for all my words. I might do the hop this way a different color. All right, so we got bunny. Make sure I get all the letters. Okay, then we'll gently peel that up. Look how perfect that is. It's awesome. Oh, what happened? I lost, I lost you guys on my phone, but that's okay. 
I just kind of want to see where we're at. All right, then I'm going to move it down just a little bit, and I'm going to, there's actually nothing on the back there, but I want to try to not have my stencil touch my bunny word because it's still probably a little wet. So now I'm going to do the word trail and then I'll show it to you again. Okay. Cute, cute. And let's see what color, let's do purple for the hop this way arrow. That is just super duper cute. Okay. Get my purple. Pansy, sorry. Pansy is the official name of this color. <laughs> How adorable is that little book stack? So we're gonna let this dry. We're going to wrap some jute and stick a little bit of um, greenery on the top. Oh, and I also cut another piece of the coordinating scrapbook paper that I'm going to Mod Podge on the top. I just kind of like to make the top of the book stack um, a little more decorative, too. So a little bit more of my Mod Podge. Spread that on. and thanks so much yes thank you for the reminder crafty peacock so there's a google form that is being um placed in the comments every once in a while that is for some giveaways that magnolia is going to be um giving out today and then also on our Magnolia website or your, your personal creator's website, if you have one, everything for customers today is 10% off. Isn't that awesome? We did not know about that until I think late last night. So that is very exciting for customers to get an extra special discount today. All right, so here's my scrap of paper on top. I love the pastel and the little crisscross plaid and then here's our book setting that aside to dry all right let's see the other little thing i had is this is a little hanging you can hang it also has jute twine it's a little box from michael's it's 99 cents it's unfinished i painted it yellow and i think this color is called agave and i'm just going to use this rolling pin word stencil that says egg hunt and then i'm just going to glue some crinkly grass and some of these little foam eggs from dollar tree and this is just going to be a little sign it's too big to go on my house but it'll go you know somewhere off to the side on whatever table i put this on so i'm going to put the hanger thing at the bottom so it's not top heavy and i'm just going to center my stencil in here. I love the minis and the rolling pin words because they just, they give you on one sheet so many different um, stencils that you can use for little projects like this. Oh uh, gosh, we have so many other things. We have those cute mason jars. We have tags. And they just, Make it so easy to add words to things. All right, so there's my egg hunt. We'll let that dry just a second, and then we'll put our uh, Easter grass and our eggs in there. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm not forgetting any of my, my things that I was going to make. Okay, I will also show you this. I had already made this, but this is also one of our... Um, DIY kits, craft kits. This is our bunny beaded garland. It comes with the tag, all the beads, the jute twine. 
And since I had already made this and one of our little minis, I'm gonna use this. Well, we can just do this now. We can replace my little butterfly one. And you can just kind of, this one has a really long, so I can maybe even stick some of it up here. I like kind of having some in the little drawer and then hang down the, I don't know. We'll figure it out. There's a lot of beads there. There, something like that. And I'll have our little tag hanging there too. All right, so there's our first thing that we replaced. Let's come back to our blocks now. We've got these four blocks that are gonna go in the middle. And I'm using our skinny font. Now I'm doing the word uh, hop. For my Christian Easter side, I'm gonna do hope. But so for my fourth egg, or fourth cube, I'm just gonna glue this little uh, bunny on there. So we're gonna do H-O-P. I've used these so many times, I don't really need to fuzz it. And these letters, uh, this stencil set comes with two sizes. The smaller size are two inches tall, so they fit perfectly on my scrapbook paper here that I cut and put on top. So I'm just gonna put H-O-P. Get my glue gun. Actually, this one I don't think I've used. Hey everybody, all right, I see you got nine minutes. Don't wanna go over, cause my friend Yachty is next. All right. I think I was gonna do this like dark teal, Tiffany teal. Oh my goodness, this one hasn't been opened. Must have just, I think I just got this replacement one. Oh, it's so creamy. Okay, just give it a good stir. Amazing. All right, let's do our letters on our blocks. You only need a tiny, tiny little bit of paste. There's H. O. P. Cute, cute. My lid. Oh, I love that color. It just really pops on the, the pastel papers. Yay! Okay, let's, um, we'll just let those dry for a second and then we'll get them in our house. All right, here's our Happy Easter rolling pin. I am going to, trying to decide between these two ribbons. I think I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to cut a couple short pieces and just tie them in a knot on either end. It's kind of just a cute, easy way to add a little more texture and color to your rolling pin. Try to get the knot so it's not covering up the words. Cute. And you could just do one side if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and do both. Since I already cut the ribbon. I love it. This is Dollar Tree ribbon. All right, so we're going to trade out our rolling pin. Put a little Happy Easter one in there. Very cute. All right, I'm going to move these guys because our bunny and our egg are going to go there, which seems to be dry. Just stick it in 
in the little base. How cute. So we'll end up putting that maybe on this side. Okay, and our bunny looks dry as well. Another fun thing you can do with these uh, bunnies and eggs is just paint them solid and then put one of the spring minis on it. So many different things you can do. All right, there's our bunny. It's coming together. All right, let's take our egg hunt. I just have some of this green crinkle paper. Um, I know you can get it sometimes, green. well, for sure right now at Easter time, you can get it at Dollar Tree. Uh, sometimes though, if it's not Easter, I've gotten it at Hobby Lobby. This is what we call mag oops, magnolia green. So I'm just going to try to put a little of this down without burning my fingers. And what I like to do is just kind of let it go how it's going to go. And then I just take my scissors and trim. All right, so there's our grass for our egg hunt. And then all we gotta do is just take our little eggs and just glue them in. So fun. Let's see, where am I gonna put this one? Kind of like this. What did we ever do before hot glue? Honestly, we waited a long time for things to dry. Okay, there it is. How cute is that? And that will go probably, you know, like off to the side somewhere or on that side. Okay, we've got our book stack to finish this guy off. Ooh, four minutes. I take some jute twine. And this is gonna be a little tricky because of this way it's shaped in the back, but I think we'll be fine. Okay, I'm just gonna wrap it a few times. We also have a larger faux book stack surface, which I love decorating with those as well, um, at Magnolia. And we'll just tie a little knot at the top. You could add ribbon, you could add a bow if you wanted. I'm just gonna keep it simple like that. And then I have a little of this boxwood I think is from Walmart. Just stick a little greenery in there. We need one more. We need one going the other way. Okay, all right, our book stack, swap that out. And let's get our cubes out. One last thing to glue, our little bunny. I hope you can see this. I, I don't want to pick it up because I'm afraid things will fall. We got our book stack, our rolling pin, our cubes, our beaded bunny garland, our bunny and our egg from the DIY kit, and our little egg hunt using those stencils that I mentioned. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully if you've had um, questions, someone was able to answer those for you since I was <laughs> fast and furious. But um, we would be happy to take any questions on our Magnolia Design Co. page. And if you aren't already connected with a creator, they can get you signed up with someone or um, get you more information about joining our amazing creator community. So thank you very much. I know my dear friend Yadi is up next, so I hope you'll stay on. 
and watch her and give her love. And thanks so much, everybody. Take care.